Today we're making these delicious honey mustard chicken thighs with cheesy ranch potatoes. It's the perfect weeknight meal. Hi, I'm Laura. Welcome back to Dinner and Aside, where my sister and I share our favorite dinner recipes. We're cooking together in our separate kitchens. This recipe is so simple, you'll be making it every week once you see how great it comes out. Well, today I'm making the main dish, so let's get started. Today we're using bone-in skin-on chicken thighs. I think this is a really versatile protein because if you change up the sauce, you have a completely different meal. Today we're doing a honey mustard sauce that I can't even tell you. It's so good. To get started, preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 200 degrees Celsius. Pat dry the chicken. This is important to get crispy skin. Season them on both sides with salt and pepper. I'm using an eight by eight baking dish. It's the perfect size for four chicken thighs. If you're cooking more, size up to a nine by 13 instead. Angie, you're gonna finish the chicken before I even start the potatoes. Well, I told you it was simple. Well, we're baking these dishes at the same time in the oven and mine has to go in first, so. Better start chopping potatoes then. I've already preheated the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the same as what you need for the chicken. But the potatoes need about 20 minutes longer so they'll go in first. Pour some olive oil on top and season it with salt and pepper. And put it right into the baking dish. They cook better in a single layer, so try to even them out a little bit. Now place the little pieces of butter all around the dish. Even it all out. Then cover it with tin foil and bake it for about 30 minutes until the potatoes are really tender. Then you can remove the tin foil, stir them up a little bit, and put them back in uncovered for about 20 more minutes. Okay, now we can cook the bacon. I always start with a cold pan. Just put the bacon in and let it sizzle. We're gonna cook this to crispy so that we can crumble it up and put it on top of the potatoes. So while this is cooking, let's get back to the chicken. Okay, I'm just about ready to mix up the sauce here. I've got one of my trusty jars that I'm gonna use. Combine the honey, Dijon, oil, garlic, and rosemary. Pour the sauce over the tops of the chicken. I like to spread it out a little so each piece is covered. Bake this for about 35 minutes or until the chicken reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know about you, but I'm getting very excited for this meal. Let's check on the potatoes. They've been in here for about 45 minutes. Oh, they're perfect. Now we'll sprinkle on the ranch seasoning and those bacon pieces and just give it a good stir. Then cover it all with that shredded cheese. Now you can place the tin foil back on the dish and let it rest for just 10 minutes. Okay, this is where the magic happens. As it sits, it'll steam a little bit and the cheese will melt and it will make irresistible little morsels. The only trouble is waiting 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes, let's look. Oh, those look so perfect. Yum. Your potatoes look amazing. Now let's check this chicken. It needs to reach an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit to be safe to eat. Looks like it's there, so let's take it out. All right, let's serve this up with the potatoes. That's pretty much the perfect dinner, don't you think? If you enjoyed this video, stick around and watch another before you go. We know you're gonna love that crispy sesame chicken.